I wouldn't necessarily do this, but I heard that you're a huge fan. Uh oh. You know what I mean? So. Oh no. Come on in, man. We got all your parts, man. Dear God. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today we've got a very, very special episode. Did that just f the lighting? Did that are we good? We good? Today we have a very special AK-50 update because today we are going on a field trip. With the friends? No way! You see, we've actually partnered with Titans of CNC. So we're going up to see their shop around the Dallas area, which means I loaded up all the boys in the shop. We're kind of clown car in this one. I am the driver of this particular short bus today, so we're gonna have a good time and uh, pick up our new AK-50 parts. I'm super stoked about it. We've been uh, talking about this for a while and then working with these dudes for a little bit and they're finally ready, so let's check them out. Whoosh. So obviously you guys remember the old V2 prototype we got cycling a while ago. Then you saw the 3D printed prototypes for the V3 we did when we finished the files, just to make sure the parts fit outside the computer. But now it's time to check out our finished parts that will actually be on the firing gun. Damn it, I should have set up an appointment. Oh. Dude, what's going on, brother? Oh. How you doing? It's good to finally meet you in person. Oh, nice to have you up there, man. Yeah, this place already looks like Candyland, not gonna lie. Oh, man. It's this a big awesome. old man cave and we have fun in it. And your parts, man, they were challenging. But we yeah. knocked them out of man. I'm excited to see him. If anybody could pull it off, it's you guys, so I'm excited for it. I got a great team, man. These guys work, work their asses off to get it done, so. For those who are watching who don't know who Titans of CNC is, what is your rundown? What do you guys do here? We used to be like a monster company just working for aerospace companies, subsea companies, doing the real CNC machine job shop work. And I just got tired of seeing like, man, nobody's teaching our kids, nobody's teaching the trade, so we kind of, flipped right there. Uh, we make YouTube videos, we did a TV show, and we just teach the trade to everybody. We have an online academy, and we have 170,000 students on that, and millions that watch, man. That's insane, and apparently a lot of our audiences watches you uh, as well, oh, good. which is awesome, yeah. just to see the kind of crossover, because everybody was saying, oh my God, you guys, if you're looking for a CNC shop, you know, you gotta go to Titans. Yeah. I, I didn't realize you guys were in Texas, too. Yeah, man, That's... Texas, man, best best country in the world, right? Hell yeah. <laughs> And it's awesome because just like you, we have people coming into our comments and our community saying, dude, Brandon's looking for like a shop to make these crazy parts and stuff. And I was like, wow, let's go do that. Which is awesome. So thank you guys for uh, everybody who went over to their comments and let them know exactly who the hell I was because this place okay. is awesome. I'm, I'm excited to see the stuff. You guys, do you want to do a quick tour? Yeah, man. And I want to say, all, we all knew you, man. You do great work, bro. Well, so, I appreciate that you think so. Good. If you guys design them right, we machine them right. That's the hope. We'll see. We'll, right, we'll figure it out. We'll figure that part out later. Awesome. Now, a lot of people think that CNC's are just magical machines that you press a button and then your part comes out. In reality, there's a ton of time, knowledge, programming, tooling, etc. that goes into it something that Titans of CNC happens to specialize in. I was wondering how that one was going to get done. You hear a lot, a lot about like three axes, four axes, maybe if you're getting crazy five axes, nine axes is like, that doesn't even compute in my head. And then, and then it's like one decimal, one problem, and it's like you're crashing, you know what I mean? One yeah. thing you don't pay attention to and stuff. This uh, looks like it might be kind of expensive to crash. Yeah. So when you see it going like that, that's actually like the parts moving. Right. It makes me want to cry. That's beautiful. So I got a wheel. I got a laser, uh, rotary dresser. These are diamonds that dress the the wheel. So mm -hmm. everything's all diamond. No shit. Yeah. You hit that there, and it the starts up. Like something like that. Big. Just ran a million dollar machine. Hell yeah. I can't afford to even look at this damn thing. <laughs> that is a giant machine. Holy shit. These are all the axes in this machine right here. So there's 35 axes in this machine, right? Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, nine. I was like, wow, that's the, all right. That's a mind fuck. This is, I don't know what step above that this is, but. <laughs> so all of these, each one of these has an X and a Y axis, and then there's eight Zs. So it comes in, does one little operation, comes back, rotates, and it just pumps out parts like super fast. That's insane. So being able to come here in person and see all this stuff is super fucking cool. Almost as cool as We The People holsters. You like that? You like that transition? 
They make cool belts, holsters, all sorts of stuff for a variety of handguns. They sent me over a leather holster for my 1911, so you know, big two World Wars energy. Well, we appreciate them sponsoring this video. Be sure to check them out using the links down in the description and in the pinned comment. Now let's go look at the parts. I wouldn't necessarily do this, but I heard that you're a huge fan. Uh -oh. You know what I mean? So. Oh no. Come on in, man. We got all <laughs> your parts, man. Dear God. <laughs> your guys are something else. Oh, oh. <laughs> How did you know? Dude, I, I, they just said he loves white cloths, man. Like. This is crazy. That's beautiful. So if you know anything about the uh, AK-50 progress and uh, all the blood, sweat, and tears we put into this, cam groove has kind of become a slur around this shop. Um, these are always the biggest pain. That's like a fucking glove, pardon my French. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is so flush. <laughs> Thanks, man. So we've got our, our front trunnion here, which this is significantly beefed up from the prior prototype for sure. A lot thicker and with that nice RPK front bulge there, because you know, you gotta have the bulge, it's nice and sexy. Those threads look fucking beautiful. Oh, <laughs> dude, that locks in like butter. That looks like one of those, uh, it's kind of like those like really, really, really high-end custom 1911s that when it goes into battery, like all the lines disappear because it's just a perfect match. Yeah. Oh, it cams. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. So these parts will slide along inside the receiver. And the, realistically, that, that is the functioning part of the gun. Um, as long as we have that really rear trunnion, front trunnion, bolt, bolt carrier, barrel, that's that's all we really need. I think we're made, we're waiting on one or two small things, but this is this is the meat and potatoes of the gun. This this is between the the bolt carrier bolt and front trunnion. You guys really did like make the heart of this new prototype. That's awesome, that's dude. Good. Thank you for helping us make stuff. That's awesome. Oh, we appreciate your help. I can't wait to see the videos, man. You guys that's are gonna awesome. have to come down, and we'll uh, we'll let you play with it. Dude. We'll take you. We'll you guys are all up here. Where it's it's not that far of a drive. We'll take it up one day. It's not even a state line. Assuming it doesn't explode, which yeah. it shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Knock on stone. Knock on granite. Yeah. <laughs> Should we take them in the room with the invoice now? Yeah, that talk? sounds great. <laughs> and if you'd like to see what these look like as part of a completed gun, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This gun has been a long time in the making and I'm excited for the pretty prototype. The V3 is going to be sexy. All right, that's gonna be the creme de la creme our magnum opus, if you will, as long as it fucking runs, which I think it will, but you'll have to subscribe to find out. So taking a closer look at the bolt, this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, from the beginning of the cam there to the, especially the cam lug, the back of the locking lugs, the helical lugs that we're trying for this V3 prototype, absolutely beautiful. And here we have Mr. Jesse, I believe, yes, right? Sir. Uh, you were the one who toiled over this part? Yes. Well, one of them. I, I apologize in advance, <laughs> but all good. dude, pleasure, pleasure finally getting to talk with you and yes, you know, sir. seeing how you guys did all this stuff. Now this is just a setup piece here. We got the real part going right here. So let me stop it and get it for you. Yeah, absolutely. We knew it was gonna be a little bit difficult to hold. You can actually see on this one. He did all this operation on this side and he has the ability to transfer it to the opposite spindle mm. and could finish this side, but it was gonna be very difficult to hold, you know, because of this ball sticking up. We thought it'd be easier just to build a little quick fixture, throw it here on the five axis and finish the work on this opposite side, which is exactly what we did here. That's awesome. I saw this on your YouTube channel a couple days ago, actually, the, uh, the fixture for that. That's really cool how you guys did that. That is insane. So everything you were just doing on this machine here, was from this orientation just on the uh, the head of the bolt here? It was, and uh, of course we had to access the sides of the part, which is what the five axis is great for. So it keeps all that from having the multiple setups, multiple times you have to touch it off and fixture it, so. So most of the difficult stuff was done over there on the nine axis then? Most of it, yes. Yeah. The height really wasn't the difficulty there, it's really just the small 
radius in the corners. Gotcha. And uh, since it was, and since it was a flat bottom there. No, I appreciate you showing us that, man. Yeah, no problem. It's awesome stuff. Yeah. It's cool to see how the sausage gets made. <laughs> it is for sure. Now you guys know the bolt carrier of an AK. This one we're doing a little different. So this obviously doesn't have the piston on it, just like the original AK piston. Uh, this one is going to be, you know, obviously, you know, a two-piece system. Ours is actually going to be hinged this time around, which is going to be kind of cool. The purpose of this is to carry the bolt. And imagine that. It's, it's going to carry the bolt through the receiver, and it also has something inside of it called a cam groove. Now we made these two different pieces just in case we had to change the geometry on this part. So the way that this works is there's a little groove here. As you can see, there's a little triangular slot here and a rectangular slot. That's where this goes. And it slips right in like that, nice and tight. And so here now we have a fully assembled, more or less, bolt carrier body. Now for our bolt, as you see here, this giant cam lug, we've learned from prior experience that you definitely want to beef up your cam lug uh, for the maximum amount of you know, surface area and, and strength, rigidity, everything for your cam groove on the 50. It's a lot of weight, this is a heavy bolt. So you wanna divide that pressure out over the biggest surface you can while still making it still nice, smooth, and functional. So here we have this, slide this in, and it successfully cams our bolt. I'm not turning that, I'm just pushing it. And it's the actual groove itself that is rotating that which means this is a very functional cam groove, and that excites my tender bits. While we're talking about the bolt, we also have our extractor here. So we've kind of offset this a little bit. Again, we're learning from previous AK-50 prototypes, what worked, what didn't. So we've got this in here, and voila, we have our extractor claw. So this is for grabbing the rim of the uh, 50 BMG casings, and being able to pull it out of battery once it's fired. And that is just a beautiful fit. I love this shit. This shit just fits without needing anything because they actually made it to spec and it's really fucking nice. So now the heart of the gun, the front trunnion. Again, this is all stuff you guys have seen before in you know 3D prints and everything when we were just trying to test the parts and pieces and how they fit together. But seeing it here in steel is something totally different. You get a good bit of respect for how fucking heavy and massive these parts are. So this is the part of the gun that contains the explosion. You see this, these threads here are from where the barrel threads in. So this is how we are going to headspace the gun, just threading the barrel in until it is nice and tight on the bolt, which also, again, has the helical lockup, just like an AK. So the bolt is really screwing itself into battery. Because if you see, these are not flat. It's a helix. And that is matched on the inside here, on the inside, uh, the backside of these lugs inside the front trunnion. So, we put this in, it will rotate into battery. And you can see the bolt getting sucked in. Then we have also this bit, which is the locking retainer piece for the dust cover. So the dust cover is going to be stamped as well, but we're going to attach it to this piece because this is where zero is determined based on the front trunnion. So you always want your, your zero to be tethered to the barrel. And if not that, then the piece that the barrel is tethered to, this nice big thick piece of steel, none of that's going anywhere. So we have this as a taper fit. So it starts nice and loose, so it's easy to find alignment. But as you push it, you can see that's a very obvious taper here. You push it forward to where it locks, and all of a sudden, it's perfect fitment. That is super tight, good and tight, just the way you want it. That grippy sock, gorilla grip. Well, this has been an awesome day for the AK-50. Sorry, I'm fighting allergies. If it sounds like I got throat fucked by a cactus, um, that is probably not what happened. It's really, really cool to just see the entire facility these guys have set up here and even cooler to see what they were able to do with AK-50 parts that we are now gonna take back to the shop and try to turn into a functional gun. So hopefully, next AK-50 update should be really exciting. We've got a couple other parts, big parts that you guys haven't even seen yet, but I figured it would be cool to take a field trip down here and show you exactly how the sausage gets made. We can do a lot at the shop, but there's also a lot of capabilities that these guys clearly have that are way outside of our ballpark to do as a small little just kind of garage shop, right? So again, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Titans of CNC 
Uh, they've been really awesome to work with. These guys are super cool. I'd highly recommend checking out their YouTube channel if you're interested in CNC stuff or learning CNC. It's really cool. It's a lot of machining porn and the guys are just really, really chill. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to their channel in the description as well. Go ahead, check them out. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the state of the AK-50. Guys, I appreciate you staying to the end. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks, guys. So I once again just want to give a huge doubt the thought out. Fuck, are you kidding me? Fuck your shot. Fuck your shot. <laughs>